Hi guys, today I want to discuss on how to create screw dislocation using LAMP. So I am using introduction to dislocation, Helen and Bacon textbook as reference. And these are the two chapters I am using. Uh, one to understand how a screw dislocation looks like. It's like a screw of uh, some nut and bolt you use. And in the chapter 4, you can see based on elasticity theory, how should you displace the atoms so that you can get a screw dislocation. So these are the pictures that I have used. And if you can see clearly that uh, after all the screw dislocation creation, the only displacement you see is in Z direction and no displacement in X and Y direction. So the X and Y direction, there is no displacement. But in the Z direction, you can see displacement as you go from here, this is theta is 0 and as you go from theta 0 to 360 degrees or 0 to 2 pi, you can see that the displacement increase from 0 to uh, Burgers vector B. So this is the formula that has been used. So this varies from 0 to B. Now I give variable definitions of the boundaries so that I can use them later in my uh, code. Then I give the uh, variable definitions of lattice constant and Burgers vector. So lattice constant as you know uh, for an FCC it's half 1 bar 1 0. So it's uh, lattice constant by square root over 2. So that's what I am using. And B2 is half of the Burgers vector which I'll use in my code. And now I give the variable definition of pi. So as you know, the pi is nothing but the circumference of a circle divided by the diameter. And this is the value. And the tan inverse y by x is, uh, is given by a tan of some y by x. So a tan means arc tan. Arc tan in mathematics means tan inverse. So that is how lamps reads tan inverse. And now I give the initial settings. So the units, atom style and the boundary conditions which is periodic in all three directions. And it's uh, obviously the dimension is three dimension. Now I give the lattice definition. So first my lattice is FCC and these are the orientation that I'm using. So the Z is a direction of the screw dislocation line as well as the Burgers vector direction. So, so the Z is taken as minus 1, 1, 0. So the Burgers vector is created as half of minus 1, 1, 0. Then I create the region or a box and then I create the box with two atom types and then I create the atoms with for only one atom type. And I change the uh, box dimensions in X and Y so that uh, I can create vacuum. Uh, you can do in different ways but this is how I did. And later I define the EAM potential so I use the pair style EAM by alloy and the pair coefficient reads the potential file. So I used cobalt and nickel. So cobalt and nickel, so cobalt is the first atom type which I created with create atoms 1. And now nickel is the second atom type. So I use set type 1, type fraction 2, 1. So I convert the first atom type to second atom type and I completely convert with a fraction of conversion 1. So it's like fraction if it's 0.5 means half of the atoms are 1 and half of the atoms are atom type 2. So if I give 1, so I am converting the cobalt first atom type into completely nickel. So the 1.0 means I convert cobalt to completely nickel. And now I compute the variables uh, potential energy per atom and stress per atom. So if you can, if you want to dump, you, you can dump custom file using C underscore 1 and C underscore 2 and you can open in Ovito and you can color based on the potential energy and stress in an atom. So you can see that in Ovito. So if you, and I here I define the center. Uh, so this is the center. So based on the elasticity theory and everything, I need to displace atoms from this center. So I define my center uh, first by taking half and half. So this is my center and so that I can displace from the center 
using this formula. So I give the variable n uh, count all the atoms so that the number of atoms are stored in variable n and now this is a loop. So in a loop you, you label the loop so that you can always uh, when you use the jump command you can jump always to the loop back. So the variable goes from a from 1 to 10. So loop 10 means variable goes from 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3 up until 10. And so the next a means it goes to the next a value. So it starts with 1 and it goes to 2. So in between there are a few commands that you can do. So you dump some files, you run and you undump this one so that you can use it again. So it st starts like this. You variable you take some variable a and loop 10 how many loops you want to do 100 thousand some loops and then you label the loop and then you go do what you want and go to the next day and jump self loop so self loop means so this is the loop name so this jumps again to here but now the loop uh, starts with a equals to 2 and again it goes and goes until a equals to 10 so this is how I do it variable a I goes from 1 to all the atoms so and the label I have named is as capital loop all cap letters so that I can differentiate now I give the dim so these are the dimensions so as you know uh, the I have told that a, z is the dislocation line direction and also the burger spectral line direction so that it's a screw dislocation now i have told from the center right so i have i store all the x and y values using this dollar i so it takes each atom every time so the i varies from 1 to n so i take the first atom second atom and i take the x and y values and i shift the center so this is a uh, initial uh, so I shift the center to the this one rather than 0, 0, so I subtract with these values so that the center shifts to here. So that's how I take care of this thing, so I, you have to do this. And now, so if x equals to 0 and y equals to 0, tan inverse y by x is not defined, so you give 0. And if x equals to 0, it means the denominator is 0 but y is not equal to 0 it means that it's an infinite value or a, so i so tan in inverse of infinity is 90 degrees right so that's why i give absolute so 90 into dy by absolute of dy so dy can be positive or negative so the so absolute dy means i get plus 90 or minus 90 so that's why i did this and now if denominator is not 0 so you can use normal formula so i give s is nothing but y by x and theta is tan inverse y by x and degree is nothing but theta into 180 divided by pi so that i can get the value in degrees not radians and now if let's say uh, x and y so x is less than 0 y greater than 0 so is second coordinate and if x and y both are less than 0 it's third coordinate so I need to do this uh, operations. So please uh, look into this. So again, making sure if anything is less than 180 degrees, I add plus 360 degrees, but it doesn't make much difference. Now I give the uh, displacement in the Z direction. So this is the formula. So you have already known the degree value. And now I use this formula based on this. So now I group each atom so id if i give group m id and this one it means it groups all the atoms into some m name and the, it displays the group of so the group always has only one atom and it displaces based on it on this formula in the z direction now i delete the group so that i can use the group m again in the loop so i go to the next i means the next atom and jump self loop so that it jumps again into the loop so finally i do minimization to relax so this is a, so this is a zero degree kelvin uh, relaxation and i dump 
all the files into final dot atom and my custom file it has id x y and z you can also give potential energy and stress per atom so let's see how it looks so after displacing you can see that it looks like this and you can see here when you are displacing you can see a very clear uh, screw dislocation formation you can see from side view also you can see like a screw how it is displaced so like a screw it goes around and it displaces so let's run the script and when you run the script this is how it looks on your terminal and you can see all the displacements in the here as well as you can see them in the log file that each atom is getting displaced please check your log file and let's see some new videos again so this is how the atoms displace when you are displacing each atom so let's complete our relaxation and this will take about some 6 to 8 minutes based on your system and your ram so please have some patience so if you check this in novito and you do dxa after putting the dump files this is how it looks this is a perfect screw now i remove the dxa and this is you can see it has displaced like a screw now if i remove the particles go to dislocations and press show the direction so it's in the z direction now i press local character so it's completely perfectly screw now what i do is i press show burgers vector and increase the length from 8 to 15 when i zoom out so you can see the perfect screw dislocation with along with its burgers vector so you can also see it's a perfect screw with a length of 19.9 thank you very much for watching this video if you like the content please click on like button and subscribe to our channel your comments are very valuable to me and it would inspire me to do better stuff so please comment and thank you very much